I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is Animal Classification, Animal Classification, Classification, sound it out, Animal Classification, Amphibians, Amphibians. Okay, first thing we're going to do, two fingers in the center, put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a curved line down, curved line up, and leave it floating. Right where I started, right here at the dot, I'm going to draw a curved line out, down, curved line in, curved line out, in, and leave it floating. I come back to this dot over here where we stopped and I'm just going to draw a curve line down in and leave it floating because now I'm going to draw little curve line down one two three four little curve lines little curve line up leave it floating come right where we stop we're going to draw a slightly curve line up little curve line down one two three four little curve lines curve line up over and connect right about here we're just going to draw a curve line and right about here we're going to draw a baby circle little half circle and let's just color that in okay now come over here try to line it up with this one and we're just going to draw curve line one two three four connect and come over here curve line out one two three four curve line in connect every once in a while we're going to draw a curve line kind of an oval connect Oval connect, these don't have to be exact. Oval connect, oval connect, oval connect. This is a salamander. Sala, see I'm mander. I'm sanding, sounding out my letters. Salamander, okay? And we'll go over these after we draw them. Okay, now come over here, put a dot, from the dot we're going to draw curve line up, out, down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line up, in, out, and connect. Inside we're just going to put dot, dot, little curve line bigger curve line leave those floating come on the left we're going to draw a curve line down little curve line out one two three up leave it floating come on the right side little curve line down one two three curve line up little curve line connect Come on the left side, we're just going to draw a big curve line down, one, two, three, up, connect on the left, big curve line up, down, one, two, three, curve line, connect. We're just going to start over here on the left so he's not floating in outer space and just draw a curve line. Inside. Baby circle, 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 baby circle. Looks good to me. Baby circle. Okay. This is a frog, and we'll talk about that in a minute. This is a frog. Now come over here, 
put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line down, up, leave it floating. Come back up to this top line, and now we're going to draw a curve line out, up, right by the salamander, up again, curve line up, back down, curve line, curve line down, curve line out, in, one, two, three little curve lines, curve line up, little curve line connect. Now you look at that and you go, what? It's because this is kind of like a salamander, but he's not. This is a newt. Come inside this space. We're going to draw a half circle and then another half circle and then a dot. And then we're going to come on the opposite side and draw another half circle. Come on the end. One, two little dots. Now, starting right here in the center, we're just going to draw a curve line up. Come over here on the left and we're just going to draw a curve line out. One, two, three, connect. Come over here, you can squish it. Curve line down. One, two, three, connect. Come on this side on the top. Curve line out. One, two, three. And there's the other leg. Okay. Ready? Baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. Okay. This is a newt. Newt. And I'll explain all of these once we're done. Okay, now come down to the bottom. Put a dot. From the dot, we're going to draw a big curve line out, in. Come back to the dot. Big curve line out, in. Right where we stop. Big curve line down, over, up, connect. Come on the left side. Big baby circle on the left, big baby circle on the right. Come back and let's just add a half curve line, curve line, and color this in. Both sides, left and right, so we don't forget, so I don't forget. Dot, dot, and now towards the bottom, big curve line, and leave it floating. He is submerged, so we're just going to draw a wavy line, connect, wavy line, connect. If you want to put one more in, you can. This is a bullfrog. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, we're going to start at the top with our salamander. And for the salamander, I'm going to color all of these little flat, weird-looking ovals orange. And I'm going to color the inside of his mouth orange. And then... I'm going to color the rest of him brown. Okay. Now, salamanders come in a variety of different colors. This is the color I chose. You can Google it and pick out your own colors, but this is the one I took. Okay. We'll explain these all in a minute get them all colored in. So this is brown and yellow orange. Body is brown. Spots are yellow orange. And now watch what I do. I'm going to switch for my newt because my newt is also part of the salamander group. So this one I'm going to do brown dots and I'm going to do a yellow orange body because they are from the same group. Okay. And I'll tell you some interesting facts after we color. So a newt is kind of from the same family as the salamanders and you could say the salamanders 
come with the same group with each other. Okay. So we're kind of trying to tie that in with by color, using color. Okay. Now, this is just a frog. We're going to color this space brown because there's tree frogs and frogs that live in the forest. They have to be moist, wet, but they don't have to totally be submerged in water. I'm going to give this space yellow dots. Okay. And regular green. Now, frogs come in also in a variety of colors, sizes, shapes. So you might want to Google frogs, see if you can find one more to your liking, but these are the colors that I used. Whoops. And you will color way better than me. Okay. Last guy. This is a bullfrog and we're going to put him in water so I'm going to use my regular blue to kind of trans transfer some color in looking like the water. I'm going to use my blue green going over it. Blue green. Loop de loop it if you want. And my bullfrog is huge compared to this little frog he's a big guy now I'm going to use my yellow green to color him in and again as always you can make your own choices on your colors these are the ones that I use all right let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's the deal with salamanders. They're lizard-like in appearance, but they have poison skin. So they don't have to bite you or anything. They can just, if you come into contact with a salamander, you could get poison on you. Now, a newt is different from a salamander because it can be in the land or the water. The salamanders mostly are in the water. Now, a frog is a diverse and largely carnivorous group of short-bodied amphibians, which means that carnivorous, that's why they eat insects and flies. But this bullfrog is the largest. He can be eight inches and weigh over one pound. That is one big frog. Okay, bye-bye.